Hi, in this video we're going to talk about control structures. So we've already used a few control structures in our program. Some let us ask questions, like if statements or if else statements, and some let us repeat code, like for loops and while loops. And the reason they're called control structures is because they let us alternate the control flow of the programs, or the way that the commands execute. So using our control structures, let's try and solve a more challenging problem, clean up Carol. Or we start in a world on the left with Carol in the bottom left corner facing east with a row of tennis balls and then ending up in the world on the right where we've cleaned up all the tennis balls. Okay, so here we are and we're trying to solve clean up Carol. So the first thing we have to figure out is which control structures we should use. So we want to clean up all the tennis balls in the grid. Let's see what other worlds we have. Okay, so we have another world. So we don't actually know how long the world is, so we, but we do want to repeat something. And since we don't know how long it is, we'll have to use a while loop. We'll have to repeat something while a condition is true. So we'll say while front is clear. And so what's the thing that we want to repeat? So I guess when we get to each spot in the world, we'll ask ourselves if there's a ball, then we should take it. So we'll say if ball is present, then take ball. So let's run this and see what happens. Oops, it looks like we're getting in ourselves into a little bit of a loop. We must have a mistake. It doesn't look like Carol's moving. So we need to remember to move after that if statement. So let's try again. So while front is clear, if the balls are present, then take a ball. All right, so it seems like we almost have it, except for we forgot to get that last ball. Let's see what we do on this world. All right, so this is working as well, except for that last one. So let's see if we can figure out what's going on. So we're gonna use our step tool to help. So we'll say the front is clear, okay, there's a ball, so we take it, there's a ball, so we take it, okay, there's a ball, so we take it. All right, so this is the part where we had a problem. So let's see, we'll go back to the top of our loop, and it will say, while front is clear. Well, the front isn't clear, so we won't actually go and execute those commands that we need to take the last ball. So we'll need to add another if statement after our loop that says if balls present take ball to help us get that last one so let's run and we can see that this time we'll have gotten that last ball and we'll see it on the bigger world and it works as well so there's a handy tool you can use which is called a breakpoint if you click a line and run It'll, the code will actually stop when you get to that line. So you can see what's going on. So we get to this line and we'll actually say, okay, if the balls are present, then we'll take the ball. So the problem that we had here where we just forgot to pick up the last ball is called the fence post problem. And you can see why it's called the fence post problem if you look at this image here, where we're actually laying four feet of fence with posts separated by one foot but it requires five fence posts. And so we actually forgot that last one over at the end. And so that's how we can use control structures in our programs.